to Canadian units in France falls the honor of conducting the attack against Coffee Cay. The little Norman town is considered to be one of the strongest points on the car perimeter. It is one of the keys to car itself. Careful planning is necessary to ensure perfect liaison with the British unit on the right flank. Their job is to invest ground south of Carpique. From well-prepared positions, German guns and mortars hit the Canadians with everything they've got. Their object is to smash our lines of communication before we can build up reserves for the attack. Despite their savage bombardment, troops, transport and tanks move steadily forward to the starting point. o'clock on a misty morning, zero hour approaches. A typical Montgomery mass of artillery is concentrated on the front. The order comes down from the operations room to open fire. Our guns open up with a devastating barrage, plowing a path of exploding shells over the town and airfield. Behind the barrage, our infantry and armor move. Smoke screens over the battlefield drift along the front, mixing with the haze from exploding shells. In the murk, visibility at times is zero. Augmenting the guns, rocket-firing typhoons dive like black meteors right on German position. They blast with explosives at point-blank range. Heavy machine guns from wooded emplacements spurt out lines of tracers. Mortars throw in bombs at a rapid rate, softening up enemy positions. The combined weight of Canadian striking power goes all out, leaving the enemy dazed by its frightful violence. Advancing over a mile and a half of open ground, infantry, supported by armor, move into the town. An hour after commencing the attack, leading elements report from the outskirts. Shortly after the signal comes through to headquarters, Carpique is taken. In the wake of battle is one of our carriers which received a direct hit from an enemy shell. In the sky, an enemy fighter is brought down. Its pilot is lucky. He bails out and lands safely. He is brought in on his way to concentration camp. Although the town is won and dazed prisoners filter back in streams, the enemy keeps up stiff resistance. A prolonged and bitter engagement takes place across the airfield to the south. Jerry counterattacks with full force, but he can't budge the Canadians. Digging themselves into their positions, they hold their ground tenaciously. All the time, a steady stream of supplies and reinforcements move up. The salvage trucks take back empty shell cases. The terrific concentration of artillery fire uses up plenty of shells, yet all salvageable material is collected for another day. Nothing useful is discarded. General Montgomery says well done after paying a visit to forward positions in Coffee Cave. Another glorious name on the Canadian Battle Roll of Honor.